The only thing that should matter on tax reform or cutting taxes or raising taxes is whether the government will take in more money or less money. That's right. The goal should be to bring money into the coffers. With those taxes, we can then spend the money on education, early childhood development, defense, or give it back in the way of a tax rebate check. That's all that should matter. Uh, nobody cares whether we have more money or less money. They just care about whether it's fair. It's about fairness. We shouldn't have Donald Trump and his buddies getting too big a tax cut because that's not fair. Even though we raise the standard deduction and we don't have any federal taxes paid by about half the country, uh, that doesn't matter. We don't want the rich to get too big a tax cut. Well, here's the deal. Everybody from Bill Clinton to Donald Trump to a lot of people say we have at least $2 trillion overseas. They want to repatriate that money. In other words, bring it back here. Well, in part, those corporations run overseas to avoid paying our high tax rates. Wow. If you look at history, by the way, JFK's tax cuts, which were passed by LBJ in February of 64 at $12 billion, Barry Goldwater at the time voted against that. He thought, well, it'll cause a deficit. No, it caused all this economic growth. We had money for guns and butter during the war. Tax cuts under Reagan. Revenues doubled between 1980 and 1990. He brought the top individual tax rate from 70% to 28%. Uh, George W. Bush, 0103, deferred till 04. Uh, it, revenues increased by hundreds of billions of dollars until the meltdown in 2008, which is the mortgage meltdown, which you'd have to convince me had anything to do with tax cuts. The point of it is you say, well, there's no cause and effect. There's no, well, you tell me there's a cause and effect on higher rates. Give me your evidence. The point of all that we should care about is devising a tax system that generates economic growth. That, put, that causes people to either put money at risk they otherwise would not, or it gets money in the pockets of middle class people like you and me, where we have more to spend. That's all that should matter, whether the government takes in more money or less money, not whether Donald Trump and his friends get too big a tax cut. My two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants Bill McCushion, a lobbyist who worked for Tommy, who knows how to get things done downtown. We can debate this, and I know we will tomorrow at 8, on the Mitch Hank Show on MadisonTalks.com.